I worship you today. Jesus, I make an eye. And I bow before your throne. Oh, Jesus, oh, make an eye. And I worship you today. Jesus, oh, make an eye. And I bow before your throne. I want to welcome you to another broadcast of the present help. God has been our help in the times of need, in the time of circumstances, situations, challenges, in an overwhelming situation. God has been our peace in this storm. And it will always be. In the times of lack, in the times of plenty, in the times of unhappiness, in the time of laughter. And jubilation. God has been our stay. We return all the glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. I welcome you to another broadcast of the present help. We are in treating a subtitle that is themed acceptable time of help. There is an acceptable time that God moves in the life of particular individuals. Sometimes it may look as if God is not hearing your prayers. It's not so. There is an acceptable time. At times, He allows us to go through storms, challenges for a season, for a reason. And when the time comes, He moves on our behalf. I want to welcome you as we worship God together. I would like to take a hymn as we did last week. So join me as we worship together with this hymn. I know that the season of rain is almost here. But I'm talking about something more than that physical rain. Both spiritually and financially. So join me as we prophetically Worship with his hymn together. Mm-hmm. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. Oh, there shall be seasons refreshing. Send down from Savior the Lord. Oh, showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Oh, mercy draws round us our fall, only but for the showers we bleed. Let's take one more time. Sir. There shall be showers of blessings. Precious reviving again oh, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. Oh, showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Oh, mercy drops. Round us are for only, but for the showers we please. 
Wherever you are, put your hands together for Jesus. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. We give you praise. We give you honor, our Father. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you for the showers. 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 Thank you for new song. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. I want you to turn your Bible with me wherever you may be. Follow me on this little this short journey as we go into the scripture. Isaiah chapter 49. We are talking about an acceptable time of help. Acceptable time of help. Isaiah 49, verse 8. The scripture says, Isaiah 49, verse 8. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee. God will hear you in this your acceptable time in Jesus' name. And in the day of salvation have I helped thee. I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause, to inherit the desolate heritages. In the name of Jesus, your acceptable time has come. God will hear you. In this your acceptable time, God will help you. In this your acceptable time, God will preserve you. In this your acceptable time, God will give you as a covenant to the people of God, to the nations of the world. God, in this your acceptable time, God will establish you and use you to establish the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere desolate, when you get there, where things are not working, things will begin to work for better in the name of Jesus Christ. Friends, everything there is a time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 says, To everything under the sun, there is a time. There is a time to be born. There is a time to die, etc., etc., etc. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. There is a time for everything. And you see, when the time of an idea comes, it will be as if something supernatural is taking place. And naturally, that's the way things go. When God decides it's your time, nobody can say it is not your time. God can overrule the entire universe just for your sake. Somebody's listening to me. It looks as if everything has turned against you. God will overrule everyone and turn to your matter. That is your turn in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, God said, I will turn and overturn and overturn it until he whose, whose owner is it, then I will give it to him. In the name of Jesus, your time is here. Nobody will steal your time from you. Amen. Nobody will take it over. Amen. You will rejoice. Amen. Your mouth shall be filled with testimonies. Amen. You keep on jubilating and telling people, Amen. I've never seen this type of God before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When the time came, for Jeremiah to be set forth over the world. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. God said, before you were formed. Huh, I've known you. It's from before you were even born by your mother. I have known you. I have called you by name. And I've ordained you. I have put my seal upon you. That you will be a priest. A prophet to the nations. When the mark of God is upon you. The, the matter what you go through now, your time, your season will come in the name of Jesus Christ. All you need to do is to belong to Jesus. You need to belong to Him. Oh, Kasson, Kambure in Jesus. Kambure in Jesus. Kambure in Yahweh. Oh, Kasson, Kambure in Jesus. Kambure in Jesus. Kambure in Yahweh. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I'm so glad oh, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. Believe me, for you, for you not to miss your time, you need to be in Jesus. You need to make him your ally if you are in him. You need to make sure you are not far from your maker. When you are a child of God, 
anything that concerns you, God will not joke with it. I said earlier, the fact that your child of God does not mean you won't go through challenges. That maybe you will not see some things happening. But I can assure you, I'm telling you, because God is who He is and who He says He is, everything will work in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God told Jeremiah, before you thought you knew yourself, before you were given a name, I knew the name you were going to be called. I put the idea in the heart of your parents. <laughs> before your parents were born, I've known you. Somebody's listening to me. The challenges is going to turn to testimonies. Amen. It will end in testimonies. Amen. It will end in laughter. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eri, Eri at Eri, Nyo Parire. Testimony and laughter will be the end of that matter. Amen. And you will call us to testify. You will glorify God in the assemblies of his saints. And God will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame will not be your portion. You were not born with shame. It is the world that tried to choose the destiny of men. It is the fake prophet that says, your mother has no solution. It's a lie. As far as God is concerned, you will enter your land of glory. Amen. Others, others succeed and you succeed. It is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Abraham succeeded. Isaac succeeded. Jacob succeeded. Jesus succeeded. You will succeed. Amen. Jesus is still succeeding. You will succeed. Amen. I say you will succeed. Amen. You will succeed. Amen. You will flourish. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God knows your name. He knows your name. No matter what it is that you are going through, it's for a time. Look at Jeremiah. I mean, uh, let us read again. Sorry. Isaiah. That Isaiah 49 that we read from verse 1. He said, Listen, O eyes unto me and hearken ye people from afar the lord that called me from the womb from the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name as the same thing i read in jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 <laughs> god knows you don't kill yourself like one of our pastors one of our wonderful young pastors preached he said no matter what you do don't die jeremiah is it so don't die don't kill yourself your time is coming. Don't die. Don't worry. The time will change. The chapter of the book will turn. It will not always be a dash. You will soon sing a mass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah 49 verse 2. Say, and he had made my man like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand. Had he hid me. And made me a polished shaft. In his quiver. Had he hid me. And he said unto me. Thou art my servant. Oh, William, in whom I'll be glorified. All your labor is not in vain. As Isaiah was complaining, verse 4. So then I said, said I, I have labored in vain. No. God is the reward of them who diligently seek him. God will reward you. Amen. Your reward is coming. Amen. It's not going to fail. It won't disappear. Your reward will touch your hand. And you glorify God. The eyes will listen to you. The people from afar will hear you. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will make your man like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he will hide you. And he will make you a polished shaft. In, the, in his quiver, he will hide you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will be glorified in your life. God will strengthen you. You will no more be weak. Come out of that sickness. I call you forth. Come out of it. Be made whole. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree settlement in your marriage. You are you believing God for your Bone of bone and your flesh of flesh. I decree this season, your acceptable time of help has come. Before the end of this year, the one who is your rightful bone of bone and flesh of all will come to you. They will locate you. It does not matter whether you are shy. You'll be wondering how it's going to be. How am I going to respond to that woman? How am I going to respond to that man? Don't worry. Jesus said to the apostles, Say, when you get to the right places, I will put the words in your mouth. When your season comes, you will no more be timid. Every spirit of timidity that has been troubling your life. I have my decree. I say, Ephata, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree an open door for you. Be made whole, be made strong. Enter into your season of acceptable time of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, but before that, I want to say to you a life outside Christ is a life of crisis. 
whatever you may be, if you are not born again, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please place your hand on your chest and pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you, my Savior. Please have mercy upon my soul. Forgive, my, forgive me my sins. Be my personal Lord and my Savior. Write my name in your book of life. From today, I hand over the reins of my life unto you. Write my name in your book of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Friends, if you are afraid of prayer, I'm one of the happy, most happiest men on the face of the universe. Call us if you want. Send messages. We will call you and give you direction and guidance and pray along with you. And we will not forget because your name will always come up in our notes and we will be praying along with you. And testimonies you are expecting, God Almighty will bring it to pass. Now, I want you to join a living church near you, wherever you may be. Find a church. It's not by size. As God, Spirit of God will direct you, look for a living church. And from there, begin to grow. Keep in touch. We we'll always make sure we get back to you. And I want you to know that we love you very, very much. But God loves you more. And it can never be over until you win. Until I come your way again. I want to say, keep getting stronger. Keep getting better. May the Lord smile upon you. May his face shine upon you. May his countenance fall upon you. May you never be ashamed. May you never lose it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alone who are by you, you are mighty. Alone who are by you, you are mighty. Alone who are kind of your me, you are mighty. Alone who are dead boy, you are mighty. Alone who are need that for me, you are mighty. Share by me, love for you and who shall show Moshabai la fojua ru sha shobura muni olonu agbaye o you are mighty o the lord who is mighty indeed in name and in status we move over your matter the bible says in psalm 19 that the voice of the lord thunders upon the waters god will thunder over problems in your life and you enter into your season of testimonies welcome into your acceptable time of help as you receive your help from God. Till I see you again, keep getting stronger. Be loaded with testimony and keep winning. I'll see you again. I love you. Bye-bye for now. I love bye-bye. Lord, you are so good. Blessed be thy name. Lord, you are so kind. Follow where be.